about spacers. I didn't even know spacers were a thing when I got my braces on. Spacers was the most uncomfortable part of the braces experience for me. I wish I had known about it and someone would have told me what to expect. So I thought that I would put a video like this out there for people who are about to get their braces on, want a little bit more information, or also some people who just went through spacers and can relate to me and want to know that someone else out there felt that pain. So I'm going to deep dive right into the spacers and tell you guys what to expect, what to eat, how to deal with the pain and everything that goes along with this little elastic band. So a spacer is a little elastic band that they connect to two strings and pull in between your teeth so that it can create a little gap, just enough space for them to put the brackets in. I had mine on for four days in total. I had two days the first round and two days the second round. Yes, I had to do it two times. I had two on the bottom left, two on the bottom right, two on the top right, two on the top left. I had to put them all in even though I was only getting the bottom brackets on but that's because they had to create a mold for what my top bracket was going to be like because I have a TPA which is a bar on the roof of my mouth. I know this sounds like a lot but please bear with me. It's a little complicated but I'll try to explain it the best that I can. You feel every little thing. Imagine, you it's like having something stuck in your mouth which is what they tell you but it's like having eight whole pieces of food stuck in your mouth. Some people don't really have too much of a painful experience, but it also depends on your pain tolerance. For me, the spacers hurt a lot, but I get my braces tightened every six weeks and I feel nothing when I get them tightened. So I guess it just depends on how you feel and what your pain tolerance is like. So the feeling that I had with the spacers was mostly soreness. I didn't even need to be chewing to feel the pain. It wasn't an excruciating pain where I was in bed all day, but it definitely did not feel that good. I didn't take any medication for the spacers. Some people do need to take some kind of painkiller, but I just was fine. I had to eat soft food the entire time. Biting down was the worst part of it for me. I couldn't chew on anything. I warmed up a croissant made it nice and soft. I was so excited to have my croissant with some eggs. I couldn't even bite down into it. I could not eat my croissant or my eggs and eggs are very soft. It was that bad. I couldn't bite into anything. Every little piece of food, I could feel it in my gums. It just was horrible. So I had lots of soups. I had applesauce, yogurt, smoothies. Basically, I was on a liquid soup, whatever diet for that couple of days that I had it. So besides the pain and the food and all of those things that we don't feel like dealing with, there's a risk of the spacers popping out. The first time I had the spacers, nothing popped out. I woke up both nights perfectly fine. They were in, I brushed my teeth too and they didn't pop out. But the second time we had to go back to the orthodontist because if it pops out early, then you have to go get it back in or your teeth are just going to close up the small gap that it already created. They're safe to swallow. They told me that it was fine if I swallowed it. I woke up and I didn't find it, so I'm pretty sure I swallowed it. But it's just small and it's fine and they said that it's safe. I think where I went wrong is that the second time I water flossed while I had the spacers in. So avoid that because I'm pretty sure that pressure is what took the spacers out of my mouth. Avoid any snacks that are chewy, any flossing that's high pressure avoid shaking your mouth out too vigorously anything that'll move around too much in your mouth will probably dislodge it that's not the case for everyone though because my sister's teeth were just really tight together and they popped out just because it was tight so it doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing anything wrong it just could mean that your teeth are not liking the spacers and it was like you need to get out of my mouth although the spacers are a very annoying part it's only a couple of days or a week for some people depending on what your orthodontist says so do not worry it is not that bad i know i probably made it sound terrible but i think it's better for you to know what you're getting yourself into rather than being shocked and have it be a way worse experience because you didn't expect it to hurt or you didn't expect to have it popping out of your mouth in the middle of the night the braces experience is a long process and i'm just getting started now so it'll be really cool for us to go through this together the spacers is just a tiny tiny part of this whole thing and by the end of it you're going to be very happy once your teeth are all lined up and straight i hope you guys enjoyed this video that you learned from it and you know what to expect now with your spacers i'll see you in my next video Bye.